Oh, he did a splat turner and look, he's absolutely over the moon. He's doing cartwheels and flip flops and all the rest of it. Why is he over the moon? Because I've got an absolutely amazing haul from my friends at Coliseum Rex. Uh, first of all, I've updated my camera now, so from now on you will be seeing the uh, Big Bird camera from Polly Polly Poo Poo. So obviously, watch for the boy D, watch for the boy D. There he is. Oh, it's kind of a little Big Bird, but anyway. So there you go. That's that. On to the good stuff. So basically I'm getting a huge kind of haul of mask vehicles. Um, so I'll just show off what I've got. This one unfortunately I might be able to tinker with that and fix that. But uh, the tyres are in pretty good condition. Uh, most of the stickers on there so pretty chuffed with that. A bit of oil on the wheels obviously. Uh, Nigh on complete Rhino, a couple of stickers sort of peeled off and stuff, but uh, the, uh, probably should have turned it around that way. And the door works, and the thingy works. And we do have cat purring sound effects, so that's just you know, there you go. I don't think I have that on my one, so that's pretty cool. Nice little bit of upgrade on that one. And we have Firecracker. And again, a couple of bits I needed to update and upgrade mine, and I can feature working, so all good on that. Shame the bike and the tyre wasn't there, but hey ho, beggars cannot be choosers. Uh, and then moving on to, I believe this is more like your Series 2 stuff. So we have the lovely Raven, and as you can see by the front there, it does have its disc. I do think this came with two discs, but this one only has one. Um, sorry, Debbie. Uh, obviously, Debbie, the lovely Debbie's back on camera for for one night only. So absolutely chuffed. So it's been an absolutely fantastic day. Not only did I get an amazing haul, but the lovely Debbie is also on camera duty. So that's all pretty much in excellent working condition. Uh, pretty much, can if you could say the best mask vehicle going really that one. And. Absolutely really chuffed to get in this now because uh, my one I don't think actually shoots properly and it didn't have the aeroplane inside so now have that bad boy slightly pressure to shut it Ta -da! so there you go this was a little bit dirty when I got it obviously but I've given it a good lick and uh, it's come quite nice and clean and uh, happily adding this to my collection for the first time I've never ever owned this nor I don't think I even actually got to see it as a kid in the flesh um, so this was an, like just to see this in the box was uh, super duper fantastic I do believe Debbie might remember seeing something similar to this at the flea market many many years ago and saying it's not 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 and it does have a missile as well this one so yeah, let's see and pictures and stuff so chuffed as a chuff chuff on this one the uh, I believe it's called a bulldog or bulldozer or something yeah check me out with my mask knowledge <laughs> I don't know what to do uh, and Goliath -da. Uh, I do believe my Goliath has like a flat tire so this is a nice again update upgrade fortunately doesn't have the spoiler there but the mechanism works Damn fine, and the mechanism works on this too. So, and the gun is in there. Boop. So, I do like when it goes along the wax its tail. <laughs> so, there's Goliath. Right, so that was me mask vehicles, and then I got some venom vehicles as well. So uh, this switch blade is I kind of class it as a bit of a junker, but I don't have a switch blade, so it's not a bad starting point. It has most of its bits, so um, happy on that. Um, it looks not too bad in the plane mode, I guess. Uh, that I can glue. Looks like somebody already did, but uh, like I say, it was all one lot, so. 
you know, it was either take it all or leave it all, so I bloomin' well took the lot. Jackhammer! Boom, boom, boom! My favourite venom bagel, this one. Because the, uh, this, this front bit's a little bit sticky, but it does still work. I dare say it uh, could do a bit of retro blasting uh, kind of maintenance on here, so. that. Put him on there. And then we have uh, Floyd's Vampire. And again, you know, not bad Nick. Uh, action feature works and everything. So with all these things when you find a big bolt like this you do kind of hope there will be sort of all the missiles and all the bits and pieces still there and you know inevitably you know you do very rarely come across them with them but uh, you know, kind of, it is always the dream, isn't it? I had a dream! Again, I don't, I don't have this one in my collection, so that's a nice addition. And I think, as far as mask goes, this is the last one, which is, uh, oh hell, what was this called again? I think it's like Blizzard or something, I don't know, probably wrong. Uh, it is missing one of the cockpit cover things, but apart from that, it does what it needs to do. So, there we go. So, that was the mask sort of part of the hole. I'll just talk, whee, toss him in there. And then, now, on to the Star Wars side of the hall. I'll show you the not so good looking ones first, and then I'll show you the the main event, I probably should have announced this at the beginning of the video, that the main event is at the end obviously. Uh, so we'll, we'll go with this snow speeder. Uh, not bad Nick, I suppose, uh, it does obviously have a couple of bits missing, but uh, it also has quite a bit, a few of the bits with it. So uh, it does have a working launch pad thing, I did. <laughs> I'll just be quiet now. There you go kind of semi working. Uh, so there you go. Uh, check that out. Light piping or whatever that does. So there's that one. But there's also this one. Woohoo! Sexy as heck. So there you go. Uh, I think that's complete. As the <laughs> plastic just dropped out. Oh my god. Oh my god I just broke it. Uh, so that, that's that, uh, obviously looking rather nice, or it would look nicer if it had the plastic in the right place, as opposed to just flung all out of the shop. It just pops back in though, so, you know. Auto glass repair, auto glass replace. <laughs> chips in your windows. Well, you shouldn't be driving in if chip shops then, should you? And then here's the infamous Battle damaged X Wing. Uh, obviously, you can see that, and there's a laser missing, but the action feature, like most of these things, still works. <laughs> Upset in the video, and still has the landing gear. So there you go. And a little R2. R2 D2. So, hold still, eh? rather than just jerking all over the place. So. Excellent. Happy days on that. And then the penultimate piece uh, is an upgrade to my brother's B-Wing that I've kind of been holding on to for him. Uh, AKA Nicked. Uh, and his is like this, it's totally like, you can't hardly see anything in the cockpit and that's a massive crack in there. So now that's pretty much crystal clear. Uh, you know, you could actually kind of go into space using that and uh, you, you would pretty much be able to see everything in space. Yeah, type of thing and all the stickers inside look very nice. I do like the little one in the back. Very crash test dummies in there again. The, I always forget which one you twiddle. You twiddle the knob. And you get the, the wing. And it has the uh, the uh, the switch. And that pops out the landing gear. So everything's all all there. Doing what it should be doing. <laughs> Did I just do it? There we go. There we go. So that's a nice little update on that. Chuffed with that. But finally, finally, 
Okay. I'll just, uh, wait, come on. All right, come on. Come on. Boom! I'm hardly getting myself a flipping at that. Uh, look! <laughs> this bit of pins, which you'll know about. But then uh, the stickers and things in there, and stickers and things in the front, so it's going hello. And uh, the door there with the big knob. Nobody knows what the big knob's for, but you know, it's there. And there's the animatronic bit in there as well. Quite a lot of the stickers intact as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, so, couldn't be happier really. Uh, thank you very, very, very much to Coliseum Rex for contributing such a, a gigantic chunk of me vintage Star Wars collection and giving me a very nice big chunk of the mask collection. Uh, absolutely chuffed to bits with everything. Uh, thanks for watching and I don't know like answers on a postcard how much do you think I paid for all this uh, you know if you're somewhere near I'll probably say yes if you're nowhere near I'll say you no know. so see you all later on guys bye oh thanks Debbie <laughs> an afterthought yeah 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 nice Bye.